Hey everyone, it's Dustin with TechMD. I'm just hitting up some old school uh, phones. Okay, not so old school, but anyways. We got a Galaxy 6 uh, glass repair. We're not gonna actually do full glass repair. We are going to do full uh, LCD replacement. And then we're gonna send this off to get refurbished. Anyways, so first start is to get out your heat gun and bust that out and actually um, warm up the back of the display. But I have my hot plate over there, so we're gonna warm that up on my hot plate. And that way I don't have to do that. And then I'm also warm up the front. Uh, if you're interested in about how to do it with the heat gun, please watch some of my other videos. Uh, basically, you're gonna wanna warm this up hot to the touch. Uh, with the hot plate, I just have it at 100 degrees Celsius and um, we're gonna go about that. So just let it get warm, hot to the touch. Nice and gradual, so it's a little bit easier. Anyways, I'm gonna wait until it warms up and then I'll cut back in. All right, we're back here. So now we're going to actually get like some gloves or anything to grab this really hot item. Nice and toasty here. Take our iFlex tool. And I just like to start anywhere, doesn't matter, but usually on one of the bottoms or tops and just work my way around. Try not to hit the on button. I think I might have. It's fine if it's on. I've worked on several of them that's been on when I'm working on it. You just don't want to have it too hot for too long. We're just slicing our tool. Not too deep now because there's the wireless charging. And then that paint does scrape from time to time. Nothing you can do about it. Unless you use a suction cup and all that jazz, but I never use suction cups. Okay, so now that we remove this off, uh, any excess adhesive, go ahead and just take it off while it's hot. We're back. Pull that off. Looks like we got most of the adhesive off with one go, which is great. I'm gonna set that aside and then remove any additional adhesive. It's on the sides. Sometimes they like to hide little screws as you can see there. Now we're going to unscrew all these screws all around it. And now that I got a trusty video editor, he can actually uh, fast forward these videos for me. I'm gonna first uh, take out the SIM card though, pop that out. And let's take out all these screws here. As you can see, I'm pulling it out with my finger. That will help grip the screw there. Sometimes the screws don't come out, so that's fine, just leave them there. Okay, now that we got all the screws out, we're just gonna literally take our finger right here and finger right there and push out. Okay, this screw I completely forgot about. Oops. This one. Sometimes you can miss them because they're hidden or just not paying attention. That should pop out just like that. I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna pop out the battery with our finger now or you can actually use a plastic tool and pop this out. We're gonna pop out the LCD cable, ear speaker cable, and button. And then let's get uh, my tweezers out for these ones. They're antennas, my favorite. Just go right behind and pop up. And pop up. And then get underneath the motherboard and just twist away from the charge port. And that should pop right up. Then we can lift up the board, move away the cables and boards out. Now we can warm up um, the unit for about 30 seconds and we can pop out the battery. Just be careful not to bend it out too much as you can potentially break your LCD and you don't wanna do that. All right, so I got this little tool that I bought 
with mobile phone repair tools, uh, JF-8555. Um, so it's supposed to be a battery popper or opener. Uh, my first try using it, um, if not use the triangles that you, comes in your iPro toolkit. So I'm going to attempt to use this here and see how well it works. Oh, it works like a champ. I will see if I can find that for you guys and link that in the description down below so you guys can buy that on eBay. I bought five of them for I think 10 bucks or less. Okay, so the battery's out. Now this needs to go back on the heater. We're gonna warm it up. All right, it's warm, nice and hot to the touch. And so our next step is if it's too hot, you're gonna grab something to protect your hands. For me, I'm fine. I'm actually gonna start right here. And what we're doing here is we're actually slicing right above that cable and there's a spot right there too and we're slicing right above this cable so we don't damage it we're actually slicing it away from the adhesive this is going to be helpful in actually separating this screen so we're getting under the LCD which is critical that you hit the right spot. Hitting the wrong spot could definitely break the LCD and you ruin your chances of having a good screen. I don't have the greatest lighting here. It's really hard for me to even see it. Let's try this here. What I'm gonna do is just bend it out a little bit and get that separation going. Hopefully you guys can see that. Just getting that separation going here. It's cooling down too much, so we're gonna go warm it up again. I would say uh, let's warm it up for about three minutes. Okay, nice and toasty here. Should be able to get under this and separate it really good. There we go, it's starting to separate by itself pretty much. Okay, I put my finger right here so I don't accidentally slice too far. And then let's do it on this side here again. Not too far, make sure the blade's in there just enough though. And then we're gonna get under the screen there and then just where the cable is is where you put your finger and we just twist and that should come right up okay now this part you just slice up here with your eye flex tool just about right there as you can see and then just twist right off and boom you got your good display on. So you're going to take this display and ship that to me and you get a credit for a good one or we can always send you back it refurbished. Either one you want to do. So you don't have to pull this off, it's just have it. So when pulling off these displays to change the charge port, that can be a problem because this paint can come up. So watch out for that and make sure you tell your customers or if you're doing it for yourself, know it. So if you want to change the charge port, you literally just rip these pieces off. Uh, take off that screw and replace the charge port and make sure you transfer the antennas uh, It's pretty straightforward from here uh, We actually charge 120 without any We don't require you to like sign any waivers or anything like that. Okay, so I already have a new uh, Screen ready to go with this piece here. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove the old one If it wants to remove here Oh, and let's go ahead and just put this back in Please contact me. Uh, I'll put my email on the bottom here. Um, yeah, just email me if you're interested in shipping your, your whole entire phone in, or if you want to ship in the display to get a credit, um, or you want to ship in your displays to get them refurbished, or even just one, we can do it. Um, if you want to ship in your whole phone, it's obviously more. If you want to ship in just your display, it's obviously less. So. 
Um, prices do change and fluctuate, so I will not be mentioning prices anymore on any of my YouTube videos. I made that mistake a <laughs> long time ago. Won't be doing that again. Uh, watch always out for this piece up here. It loves to fall off. It's very irritating. Make sure you just rub off the old adhesive with your finger. It should just all rub off. And then there's no glass anywhere. Um, especially if you're tearing off a broken LCD. If you want to see how to do actual glass repair, I have some videos. I do not recommend it. It's should be only done by a professional. I stopped doing glass repair after the Galaxy 7, Edge, and 7. They just got too challenging. So hopefully you didn't clip these. If you did, then you want to make sure you get a uh, replacement charge port. Uh, make sure you get the correct one. As you can see right here, this one says G92A for um, AT&T. The T-Mobile one will work for that. Verizon and Sprint ones will work for those. Um, so make sure you get the correct part if you break those or maybe even buy another one just in case you do break it during this repair. Those are pretty easy to cut those and then you'd lose your functions. So this already has adhesive on all around so I don't have to actually stick on uh, a, like adhesive strip like this one here I have for my Galaxy 6 Active. Alright so we're going to actually stick this through the hole here and then connect it to the top and then uh, connect it on the home button right perfectly on there and then push it down and we should be all connected now if you wanted to test this out before installing I will show you how to test a display uh, before installing okay so basically what you're gonna do here is we're gonna lift up this cable and plug this in. You gotta kind of fill this one out. And clip it on the bottom of the board. You don't really need to clip these in yet, but I'm doing it as part of my process. To be honest, all you need is the display, like that, or, yeah, really all you need is the display plugged in. You don't actually have to plug that in, but, I prefer to just go ahead and plug this bottom piece in and then we're going to actually let's pretend this one is the new display oh, that's something else okay so we're going to take the old one and see if we broke the old one and also we're going to pretend this is the new one and test the new one so how do you do that when there's no power button well it's actually pretty straightforward you'd have to look at this and you can see the little two connections connect down there and I will show you how to do that in a second here. First, let's install our battery. Plug that in. Okay, we're gonna take just our Phillips screwdriver and connect these two connections together. And as you can see, it turns on. Let's make sure these two connections there, hopefully we can get a good zoom in on that, are uh, touching together. You hold it down for like three or four seconds, just like if you're holding down the power button. As you can see, I didn't ruin the screen as great. And then we'd be able to also tell if this other one is good or not. So let's find out if the new one's good. And plug in the new display. About four or five seconds. And then look at that. It's working and then we can check these buttons and make sure the touch works and all that stuff. As you can see, my stuff is all OEM original. It looks really good. There's a lot of fake ones out there that don't have the original glass on there and it makes it easier to break. So make sure you get original. If you have trouble getting original screens, you, I don't know about getting original screens on eBay or not, but you can maybe possibly find original on eBay. Um, if not, I can uh, get you some original displays. Okay, so I'm just plugging these little antenna cables in. You kind of have to finesse them to plug them in. 
and then just make sure that's lined up on each one here. Okay, so this charge port goes into there and we're gonna slide that in first. Push in and clip and press down and in at the same time. There you go. So now we're sitting flush. Everything should be starting to want to clip in and we are going to screw in all the screws. Okay, all the screws are back in. I'm gonna take some double-sided tape. You can find this on eBay as well. And we'll just get all four corners as much as you can, or all four sides, I should say. I found these at Walmart. Supposedly titanium scissors. I don't believe it, but they're very good. Paid 13, 14 bucks for them. They remain sharp for a quite some time. Okay, now that we got that stuck down, we just separate the two to make it clear. Then we're gonna get our back glass and start up here. And then we need our SIM card tray, put that in. And here we go. Make sure you squeeze that in to get that in. And we got a brand new screen on there, ready to go. Easy peasy guys, if you have any questions, comment, like, subscribe down below, more videos coming, fast and furious, thanks guys.